Okay, today we are starting chapter 7 out of the algebra for one book. And if you look back here, 7.1 solving linear systems by graphing. So, what we're going to do today, we don't have any rearranging to do in 7.1a. All right, all the equations that you get are in slope intercept form, which is what? Y equals mx plus b. Bingo. Y equals mx plus b. They're already in graphing form for you, so you don't have to rearrange. Tomorrow we'll rearrange. Whoops. Two vocab, systems of a linear equation. And the second one, solutions of the system. All right, and how do we find that solution? You take the one equation, you put it on your graph, take the other equation, put it on that same graph. Wherever they intersect, right here, the intersection, that one ordered pair is the solution then that will work in both equations. All right? Now, here's what we'll be doing today. Now, these are just like in our test. Remember on our test, we got to cross off all page two and then on page three, we cross off everything except for those bottom two. Yeah. All right. And you had to tell me, does this work? Here's your x, here's your y. Did that work in this equation? Yes or no? Well, we want to know that if these two lines, these two equations right here, those two linear equations, if we put them on the graph, is this where they would intersect? Would they intersect at that point one and four? Let's prove it. Let's see if it is true or false. So. Now, I've had some people that are goofing up and losing points because they're chicken scratch. They're trying to just do a little bit of work like this. So the x, they'll put a 1, they'll go 4, and they're losing signs and they're getting points wrong because they're just trying to write on these little itty bitty problems. So for your work, I want you to show all work rewriting it underneath using your substitutions. So 3, using your parentheses, times x, what's my x? 1. 1. Minus the parenthesis, what's my y? A four. a 4. Does that equal a negative 1? Okay, we're doing this one first. Does that one work? Then you show your work. 3 times 1 is? 3. 3, thank you. A negative, and they're assumed 1 times 4 turns into a? Hello, thank you. Negative 4. 3 minus 4 is? Negative 1. Does that equal your negative 1 on this side? Yes. yes. That one works, but that doesn't mean that that's the answer. We don't know that if that's where it crosses yet. It's looking good, but we have to prove it now in the second line to see if it works in that one as well. So we'll take 5 times, what's my x again? 1 times... Or, excuse me, plus 2, two times, times y, which is still four. a 4. Does that equal 13? 5 times 1? 2 times 4? Adam, I'm writing backwards here. 13, does that equal 13? Yes. So then, since it's yes and yes, we would write for our answer on that problem, true. True, that is true. This is the intersection. That is where those two lines cross. That is the answer to that system. Right? Questions on that one? Let's do the other one on this page now. I'm just going to rewrite this over here bigger. So now here's my x, here's my y. So this one's pretty easy. I have 3 plus 0. Does that equal 3? Yes or no? Yes. Yep, it worked in that one. What if it would have been no right away? What if I had to have done the other one? No. no. But I highly recommend that you go through and check your math first. Because, like, look at, say you did this one first. Um, 2 times, what's x? 3? Minus 0, does that equal 5? Yes or no? No. 
But to some people today, we're going 2 times 3 is 5. 5 minus 0 equals 5. Well, yeah, that does work. Does it? No. No, because 2 times 3 is not 5. It is 6 minus 0 is, does 6 equal 5? No. Okay, well, say you did that right. You got no. Go back and double check your math and say, yep, I didn't do anything right, so I'm going to go with no. So this one would be false. That is not where those two lines would intersect. That's not where they would cross. All right, now we have to find the spot. They don't tell us, they're not having us check it. Now, this is how you do the back page. We have to, first of all, graph the linear equations. And the biggest mistakes that were, again, that were made earlier, the slopes were wrong. So look at your equations right away. Which direction does this slope go? Positive. Positive, right? So it's going to be somewhere in the positive range like that. This one has a negative slope. So you're going to have one line going positive on this one, one line going negative. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes they're both positive slopes, but they still will cross. The only time they would never ever cross is if they were what? Parallel. Excellent. If they were parallel. But we have none of those today. They, yours all cross. And if they ever cross and they're not whole numbers, if they're not right at a whole number intersection, you did something wrong because it's all whole numbers today. So let's graph this one. And we know this one's going to be a positive slope. So let's make sure we go the right way. Where do I start from the origin if I'm doing this one first? So down to the negative 4. Put your dot. My slope is a positive 1 half. Rise over run. Let's do the bottom. Let's do the run first. Tell me, left or right? Right. 2 and up 1. Right 2, up 1. And so on. Or left 2, down 1. Left 2, down 1. Now you're going to want to use your straight edge because you're going to want to know exactly where those two lines intersect. So you'll use your straight edge. All right, now let's do the second line. The second linear equation. Where do I start for the second one? From the origin, where do I start? Up one, Up one to the one. Because our y-intercept is a positive one. Now our slope is a negative two over one. What if I have an x, because there's some on your, on your worksheet that your slope is x, y equals x. What would my slope be there? No, what's my slope? 1 over 1. one, over one. What if it's y equals a negative x, what's my slope? Negative 1 over 1. Negative 1 over 1, exactly. And there's some, there's some like that on your worksheet. And what would this be? What if I had a negative on that worksheet, if I have a negative x, and they say x is a negative 2, what is a negative negative 2? What would that turn into? Positive 2. That would turn into a positive 2. Just a little hint on your worksheet there today. All right, so now we are, we're at the 1. We're finishing this one, and my slope is a negative 2 over 1. So I'm going to want to make sure my line is negative. But let's do the run first, left or right? Right, right how many? One, one. 1, and then what? Down two. Excellent. Down two. Right one. Oh, look at here. Do we not right here? I like to circle mine then. Right one, down two. That way I know exactly where I cross that line when we share a intersection like that. Get your straight edge. Draw your draw your line. There we have it. Now, if I did everything right, that should be the answer to my system. That should be the solution that works in both equations. You can't just go on and assume that we're geniuses. We have to prove it. So what is this ordered pair? 2, two negative 3. Two, negative three. That's my x and y. I have to prove that I'm a genius. So I take my first equation, and it's y, which is what? Nothing. So negative 3 equals 1 half times, what's my x? Two. 
minus 4, so minus 4. Does it work? What's 1 half times 2? Four. Bring down your minus 4. What's 1 minus 4? Does a negative 3 equal negative 3? So far, we're geniuses. Now let's check it in the second equation. Y, which is negative 3, does that equal a negative? That was a negative, wasn't it? I can't see with all my chicken scratch up here. Yeah. Yep. Y equals a negative 2 times, what's my x? 2 plus 1. Negative 3, does that equal? What's negative 2 times 2? What's negative 4 then? Bring down my plus 1. Ooh, did we do it all right? Yes. True, we did it right. It worked in both of them. We get an A on that one. We just proved that it worked. Questions on that one? What if we were to solve on back when we have these, the very first ones on the page that we practiced on? What if we had one that was no and this one was a no? What if they were both no's? Would that be true or false then? False. That would also be false. The only way it can be true is if it is yeah. yes and yes. And then there's one other kind that you'll run into. I don't know why they don't do this one first. It's easier. But anyway. Here's my two linear equations. What kind of lines do those make? Yes, they do. Vertical and horizontal. So tell me, let's do this one first. Y equals a negative 3. Where do I go from the origin to graph that? Down 3. Down 3? Because on the Y, it's a negative 3. And then use your straight edge. Now, where do I go from the origin for X is a negative 2? Left 2 your straight edge and they intersect right where what is my solution negative 2 negative 3 you need to prove it to see if you're still a genius go here what is y negative 3 does that equal a negative 3 that works what's my x does that equal a negative 2? Yeah. Done. And you're thinking, why do I have to prove it on that one? It's so easy. Here's why. What if they would have done them backwards? It was opposite day. And instead of going on the one, it was y is a negative 3. What if they would have went over here? Y is a negative 3. They would have drawn their line there. And then x is negative 2. So they would have went down here to the negative 2. They think their answer is 1, 2, 3, negative 3, negative 2. Negative 3, negative 2, and they're thinking they're genius. But we have to prove that we're geniuses, x and y. Now I go over here and I go, what is my y? My y is a negative 2. Yeah, negative 2 equals what? And then my, my bubble bursts and I'm, my ego's all gone because I'm not a genius anymore. They don't match. And then I'll have to go over here and go, oh, rats. I went the wrong way. So you get the handy dandy eraser out and you redo it. Okay, make sense? That's the only ones we're going to do today. Here's your worksheet. You'll do out of your worksheet packet is the front and the back of that first page, 7.1a. Here you just take this ordered pair on your worksheet, X your Y. Prove it into both. Like I said, no chicken scratch. Please rewrite them with the substitutions in there so you can understand your writing. That's how you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, telling me if it's true or false. Now you get to 7, 8, and 9. These are the same as the ones on the top. Everybody see 7, 8, and 9 on the bottom? The only thing is they were really nice and they graphed them for you. But what's the ordered pair we're going to have to use here? It is 0 and what? Four. Now use those to prove it down here, just like you did on the top. Here you'll use this ordered pair and this ordered pair. On the back, you have six problems like this where you have to graph them and then prove down here that you're a